what is gas and if you clicked on this video you already know who skywater is man you've heard miles you've heard eyes you've heard all them recent tracks that have been going crazy for him man so today you already know i got y'all with a tutorial man so stay tuned let's get into it and let's go man so I just pulled up Analog Lab, went into this loophole bank and grabbed this like usual ambient pad. And I'ma just try and lay out like a super ambient R&B-ish chord progression. So I'll report back to y'all. So I just finished up making this little chord progression. I'll let it play out. So super ambient, super R&B-ish, and real quick, just the way I made these chords is really just a whole lot of trial and error, just putting stuff down, seeing what sounds good and what doesn't, and just trying to keep them pretty spacey. And it was super simple because after this, after the, I made these first two chords, I just copied them over and then put them down one, two, three, four, five semitones, and just like that, I had the next two chords. So sometimes it's really that simple. Try not to overcomplicate it with these R&B chord progressions. All right, y'all, so two things. First of all, I just grabbed this little synth preset out of Analog Lab and I layered the keys with it. Sounds like this. And then back in Analog Lab in this loophole bank, I got another synth preset, the Derma preset. And basically, I just copied everything from the keys and then did Alt-L to shorten all the notes, just like that. And then I did Alt-S to strum them out. And this is what it came out with. And I'm not gonna lie, I completely ripped this idea off of Jay Dollar. So shout out Jay Dollar. He did this in the original Miles beat by Skywater, and it just sounded tough, so I figured why not. I just pulled up X Band and grabbed this acoustic fretless preset. I'm about to lay out a little bass pattern. Super simple bass pattern. I just got this laid out. So now everything together sounds like this. So I just pulled up SRX Orchestra, grabbed this trombone one preset and basically just used it as a lead. I'm gonna let this play out. Now I think this needs some strings. SRX Orchestra again, I grabbed this legato preset and this is the most basic strings pattern of all time. So I'ma just let everything play out as one. This is the final melody. Time for the drums, man. Alright y'all, I think I'm finished with the drums, so I'm just gonna give y'all a real quick breakdown. First things first, I got this basic jersey kick pattern with a pretty hard kick, and then I got this snap hidden at the end of every two bar. I took it out for this one just so it wasn't so repetitive, and then I put like this little note down here just because I thought it sounded good. Then I got this zap perk. You can see here I doubled it up a bit. And I'm not gonna lie, that was completely unintentional. I accidentally copy and pasted it over and it just sounded tough, so I kept it. But pretty basic, just hidden to give it a little more bounce. Next, the open hat, super repetitive pattern, just alternating every four bars. And then we got this chant pattern, again, basic pattern. These are pretty basic drums. It's just adding these little things to give the beat a lot of bounce. And then next, I had this hidden on the one, this little strange sound effect sounds like this. And then we got this rim, basically using it as a snare, just like a pretty basic snare pattern there. And then I got this triangle, which I thought added a really cool element to the drums. 
And this right here was just me being a creative genius. Uh, I just added some slide 808s, pretty soft 808, but I just added some slide notes that were super quiet in the mix, and I thought it sounded really nice. So all the drums together sound like this. And everything together sounds like this. Now all we gotta do is arrange it. So I just finished up with the arrangement and I'm gonna give you all a really quick breakdown. So for the whole like first minute of the beat, I had just straight melody, no drums, except for this little perk loop I put on. And then I had this vinyl crackle playing in the background just to give it a little more texture. And then I had it drop into like a sort of pre-hook, I guess, because what I did here is I kept the same kick pattern I just dragged in a like shorter, not as punchy kick. And then I had the real drop, like the real chorus here. And then I had this little outro, which was basically just the regular keys with like the not as punchy drums. And then I had to come back around for like a little bit of a chorus pretty much. And then I had the last 16 bars fading out right here with the vinyl crackle. And I did actually end up adding this like super soft bell. It doesn't really add too much, but you can hear it really well in this transition right here. And for that transition from the intro into the pre-hook, I had this little crash. And then from the pre-hook into the regular hook, I had this little Pink Panther sound effect that I'll let play out. And that's the beat, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching, man. This actually turned out really cool. I think this was super accurate, but hey, if y'all hated this or if you think that this is something that Skywater would actually hop on, just let me know in the comments, man. Any feedback is always appreciated. And also, comment what other tutorials y'all want to see, man. I would love to do any type of tutorial for y'all. Other than that, make sure y'all like the video if you enjoyed or if you learned something new. I really would appreciate it. It helps out the channel a ton. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe man we just hit that big 400 thank y'all so much for the support but when we hit that 500 i'm gonna be dropping my stash kit with a lot of these sounds that i'm using in these tutorial videos and just in my beats overall some goaded sounds so i'm gonna be dropping that when we hit 500 subs thank y'all so much for all the love i love y'all and as always it's been gas man peace